Welcome to LUTV News In Focus, where we feature interesting topics on campus, in the community, and in the world of culture. I am Jonathan Tiffin. On Wednesday, November 13th, the Lamar University Department of Communication and Media and KVLU 91.3 FM is hosting an event for local podcasters to meet and network. Aaron Barnhill and Zach Bowman, hosts of the A to Z podcast, are at the forefront of this genre of media in Southeast Texas. They're here to tell us more about their show, their creative process, and the importance of podcasting. Guys, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for, yeah, thanks for having us, John. So, we're gonna get, tell us a little about yourself. Why, why did you get started in this, this whole podcasting thing? Well, I mean, uh, Zach and I have been friends for a very long time, and we're those type of friends who kind of get together and talk about things all the time, mm -hmm. make big plans, and then never really follow through with it. And when we had this idea about podcasting, which was actually pretty much Zach's idea, mm. it was kind of the first thing we ever fell through with, and we just kind of took off. You yeah. Know? yeah, I already had a background in audio, so I already kind of had a handle on the technical part of it, you know, figuring out how to get the show out there and capture it. Uh, but it really just, you know, we were in the same place kind of creatively. We had a lot of free time. We were looking mm. for something to do, and it kind of just... It just made sense, you know. And I'm, I've been talking to people my whole life, so I yeah. got that under control. You know, yeah, we had a pretty broad selection of people that we knew and interest that we had, and it just kind of it made sense. You know, it was it was the right thing to do, and we've been doing it for two years now. It seems, yeah. So if you're talking all the time, take advantage of that. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Use your skill set. Yeah, yeah if you find skills. yourself in interesting conversations, often maybe there's <clears throat> something there. Yeah. It kind of got, it actually, the podcast was born from that, right? Uh, it was born from us having really interesting conversations with friends and strangers, like at the bar that we, that we frequent a lot of times. And we, we found this weird value out of talking to strangers in this. And we thought that it didn't really exist anywhere else, like in our life. Mm. So we kind of decided to isolate that. And we go, let's, man, this is great. I wish we could share it with everybody. And that's kind of really what started the podcast was yeah. just conversations the value of it the fact that we never really talk to people for an hour at a time anymore like we used to well, plus when you're at the bar you get interrupted you know the yeah. or the conversation goes too deep for public <laughs> conversation I guess or something like that or we get off track and uh, we just wanted to keep that up you know we wanted to be able to isolate those conversations and actually follow through with them you know? I think that's a really important thing to talk about actually is like when you're out in public or at a, even like at a party with people you know there's definitely uh, a barrier of getting into to certain subjects like people don't they want to stay casual and they want to keep it like that and a podcast kind of gives you an opportunity to go deeper oh yeah um what were some of the the challenges you'll had like getting when you first got started mm. or challenges you got now well i would say when we first started the biggest challenge was just uh having credibility mm. you know just any any new show no matter what it is, it is a podcast or whatever kind of content you're trying to create before you have a back catalog the biggest challenge is just uh, finding people that trust you, you know. Yeah, big got, shout out to the, the first guests that we ever had because they had nothing to go yeah. on, you know. They had no idea who we were. We had a few episodes out or we had some credibility from people they may know, but, you know, they kind of took a risk on us, I guess you yeah. could say, yeah. I mean, I still feel like people are taking risks now, even though, I mean, we might be, uh, we might be like the biggest podcast in the area, but that's really, we're not really reaching that many ears. So mm. anybody that we have on, we're really grateful for them. And I still feel like people are taking, you know, they're taking a shot in the dark and coming mm -hmm. on and, and having conversations with strangers. So yeah, I, I like, I want to, pre I appreciate all our guests. But you know, beyond the guest aspect, I guess the other big challenge was just, uh, there's a, uh, you have to learn your process, especially with producing it. You know, you have to learn uh, how how do you get it to sound the way there's standards you know it can't be uh, it can't the volume can't be all over the place it has to sound natural so the other challenge was building a template and figuring out how we would do our shows how we produce our shows to where it was easy consistent uh, and just kind of dialing that in was kind of a that was a that was a something to overcome it was a hurdle for sure yeah. so we got this workshop coming up on the the 13th and y'all are taking part in that mm -hmm. um, are you going to talk about this kind of thing, like helping people get started? Like, what what can we expect out of that? I'm not too sure. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to expect out of it either. I haven't heard too many details, but I'm honestly just hoping to get to meet more people who are doing this thing. Uh, I am always open to talk about anything having to do with making the podcast, the gear you need, how you edit it, or anything mm. like that. 
but yeah, I mean, I'm, I would be open to it, you know, it just depends on what kind of questions people have and, and how it goes, you know. Yeah, I'm excited kind of also to network and find other people that are podcasting because one of the great things about the podcast community as a whole is we all kind of like share, you know, and we all cooperate with each other because at the end of the day, when you meet another podcast, you're like, oh, there's, I found a new guest and they found a new guest. You can just kind of cross, cross, uh, cross promote like that. Mm -hmm. Do you think that it's too late for people to get started? I mean, there's, no. there was this big boom of like, it, it became, it's a hot new medium, like it hadn't been mm -hmm. something that was really done before. So there's, it's certainly like people are starting to pick up and it's gaining steam. Do you think it's, it's too late for someone to get involved if, if they're, they want to? I mean, if you, if you are doing a podcast to try to make a living or make money or, or, or tap into like a market or something, maybe it is too late because it's pretty flooded. But if you're wanting to do it, like if you have something to say or you have something you're trying to say or, or you, you want to do it for the fun of it or do it for you, for sure, it's never too late. Absolutely, if you see, the, if you see the value in it, just uh, the experiences you're having, the conversations you're having and, and making new friends like with guests, then it's never too late to start. You know, that's, that's a value of itself, I think, you know. That goes to my next question is to, to both of you, why is podcasting important? Hmm. Go ahead. Uh, with podcasting, you know, we put we put money and time into it. You know, we haven't. We're still in a hole. We're not going to break even. We don't ever see this becoming like a day job, really. You know, but I can't I can't overstate the good things that I've gotten out of doing this. I have met so many really cool people. I've become closer to the people I already knew. Uh, all the skills that you learn from doing it. You learn how to talk to people. You uh, learn how to do uh, the research. You learn uh, marketing on social media. You learn editing. You learn all, there's all these things that you can get from it, just from doing it, you know? Uh, and regardless of uh, the cost or whatever kind of value is there, but I mean, I've gotten, I can't, I, I'm like a huge supporter of anybody doing it because of what I've gotten out of it. Like it's, it's added so much value to my life that I wouldn't have gotten otherwise. Absolutely, other yeah. Thing, you yeah. Know, like it's it's been huge. Like, and and just and just raw expression, you know. Too, yeah. it's uh, we're not musicians. We don't go on the stage and we don't perform and stuff like that. But everyone, you still have to have like your outlet of expression. And this is one that I think is this is our outlet for expression. Mm -hmm. You know, every week we'll have a guest. It might only be like two hours, uh, but it's really important just to kind of get there and, and just express yourself, you know, and have a long form conversation. Hmm. It's, it's really like, and I don't to know. to be able yeah. to take that conversation and then present it to and, your listeners. And share it, yeah. you know, share it with everybody. And hmm. some people are gonna listen, some people aren't, and that's totally fine. That's not, that's not why we do it. All those things Zach said, that's why we do it, hmm. you know. So, are people, people say that Southeast Texas is, you know, it's, it, I mean, y'all, your podcast is based around Southeast Texas and mm -hmm. people in it and the interesting things that they do. People say that Southeast Texas isn't a super interesting place. What mm -hmm. would you say to people who have this idea? Uh, you gotta, you gotta look outside your bubble. You yeah, know? absolutely. Because, because yeah. maybe if you're, I mean, with the internet and how social media and everything works, we all kind of, through our likes and through algorithms or whatever, we're all kind of honed in on, on what we know. And to break out of that is hard, but it's, you, you can't just have a blanket statement like that, that there's nothing going on here. Because yeah. obviously from our shows, I mean, we're 90 episodes deep of interesting people and things going on. And these, and a lot of our guests, we had no prior knowledge to at mm -hmm. all. These are strangers, you know, that do uh, really noteworthy things and they live just right down the road. And it's, it's really easy to forget how big of a place this is, how much going on, where it is, because like, like Zach said, we do live in a bubble, but our statistical area is I think like 340,000 people in our Tri-County area. How many do you know when you sit down and think about it, 500, 1,000? Hmm. There's so much going on from every day to day that you'll never know. And if you don't try to get out there or you don't try to find the interest, then it's, it's not gonna find you, hmm. yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to cut you off there, but thank you, and uh, thank you for watching and joining us today. To listen and learn more about the A to Z podcast, visit a, the number two, zpodcast.com. The Southeast Texas Podcast Meetup is Wednesday, November 13th at 6 p.m. at the Lamar University Department of Communication and Media. For more information on the event, call 409-880-8153. 
Thank you again for watching LUTV News in Focus. To see more content from LUTV News, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook.